Hey guys, this is going to be a bit of a ramble video, but I just, I want to talk about something because I think it's super, super important. Now I'm going to be talking about Codex and Claude Code today, but more broadly, just models as well, right? LLMs. So I've noticed something recently that Codex has actually become better than Claude Code. And this isn't just like a, oh my God, it's insane, whatever video. Codex is better at coding than Claude Code. And you guys know that I am a Claude Code Anthropic fanboy. So for me to say that, you know, I, I actually mean it, right? I, I'm genuinely using Codex more than Claude Code right now. Now, I did make a video earlier where I still use Claude Code for, like, MCPs, running commands and stuff. Because I don't think Codex, um, at least in the Visual Studio Code extension, which is where I'm using it, it's not that good at running its own commands. It's not that good at running Docker. It's not that fast. Like, Claude Code has that kind of MCP connection. So I'm probably still going to continue to use Claude Code. But Codex is better, but I don't think it will permanently be better, right? Because it's a model thing. It's not a wrapper thing. I previously thought that Claude Code had the best wrapper. It's not true. I don't think the wrapper is particularly difficult to make. Codex almost definitely copied Claude Code uh, with a lot of their changes and things. You can just tell. Currently, Codex is significantly better because it uses GBT5, right? Now, I don't think that GBT5 is better than Opus 4.1, right? But what is happening here, right? This is my theory. My theory is that Opus is using a quantized version. Now, I read about this on Anthropic's own YouTube channel. Um, where all of the comments were talking about why you're using quantized versions, right? What a quantized version is, it's like a, it's a distilled version of the model. I'm not an LLM expert, by the way, guys, but this is how I understand it. Basically, it's like one-tenth of the strength or of the overall model, right? But they still call it Opus 4.1. Now, what I think is happening is that because this, if, you, if they just used Opus 4.1, to power Claude code without distilling it or quantizing it, then th they would not be making money, right? So they'd be losing money. And what they've actually done is if you look at Anthropic's revenue, it's gone like this, right? Because of Claude code. I suspect it's starting to kind of even out, right? Which is why, in my opinion, today, tomorrow, in the next few days, they will release Opus 4.5 or Sonnet 4.5. I'm going to guess it's going to be Opus and Sonnet 4.5 coming at the same time, right? And what it's going to do is they're going to release the unquantized version of that model, and they're going to burn through money because these companies, their valuation is based off their revenue growth, not over the, not their actual revenue, right? It's their revenue growth. So what is Codex doing that Claude Code isn't? Probably they're burning money to use a fully unquantized, undistilled version of GPT-5 to power Codex because they want to take as many users as possible from Anthropic and from Claude Code because it's just, it's a cutthroat race at the end of the day, right? And OpenAI, same thing, right? They're probably evening out or they were evening out. So what they're doing is they're trying to you know, get people to use Codex, because if loads of people start using Codex, then their revenue starts to grow. And also another thing is that this could be revenue or it could also be users, right? You don't have to think of this as revenue. It's users and revenue are basically the same thing if you think about it. So what is happening? They're burning money to make users because the, their valuation comes from the amount of growth month on month that they experience on users or revenue, not on their profit which is just how these big companies operate. It's how, it's how massive companies have operated for a long, long time, right? The profit's not the important thing. The revenue is the important thing. So what's actually going on? GPT, in my opinion, OpenAI, they're using the full blast GPT-5 model, and you can get it for 20 bucks a month right now, which is significantly cheaper than the 200 or the 100 needed to use Claude code, and you actually get pretty good usage. I have not run into any usage problems with open ai yet with codex right for 20 bucks a month now one thing that i do want to mention is like i said before i am using claude code still to run all of the kind of commands right um all of the cli stuff github docker mcps etc etc 
So that's how I'm saving on, on that. But I suspect if you had the $20 Claude code and the $20 codex, this is now a better combination than just having the $200 Claude code, right? So my opinion on this has changed, but it will change again when undoubtedly they release Sonic 4.5 or Opus 4.5. And I'm telling you, it'll be in the next 48 hours. We've seen this before. This is the fight. This is the battle. This is what is going on. And then suddenly when they release this, I guarantee Google will release um, something like Ultra 3.0. And they're going to hopefully release it for free on Open Router. And I recommend, guys, as soon as one of these models drops, build something. The next two weeks after this drops is an absolute gold rush because you get access to the best modeling models in the world by far for a good price, right? So I'm not saying cancel your Claude Code subscriptions necessarily or just get ready to renew them when this is released. The two weeks after they release this model and also with Google, the two weeks after they release this model, build, 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 build. I'll leave the video there, guys. I really want to talk about this because I think this is super interesting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.